Day eight, no baseball. Yep, day eight, day eight. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Note All, coming to you today on day eight of no baseball, no football, no basketball, no tennis, no track, no golf, no nothing. Um, but guys, let's let's get to something happier. First of all, thank you to my Patreon supporters once again. I said it yesterday. The impact you guys are having is just huge. If you're considering being a Patreon supporter, please do. Even if it's you do one dollar a month, three dollars a month, five, ten. If you're a business, twenty five, fifty, seventy five, a hundred. I have rewards for you. Uh, if you're a sponsor at you know, five, ten, fifteen dollars a month, you actually get uh, after six months like a shirt, a bag, something. I have different things, don't have it all memorized, uh, but there are rewards for you as an individual for being a Patreon supporter as well. And it keeps us going, gets the podcast going, gets the site up and running, you know, to stay going, um, keeps YouTube up and running, video content. So please, link down below in the, in the description, click on it, please become a Patreon supporter. But guys, let's jump into the topic for today. Day eight is, why do I take so many photos at games? Um, I've been doing it for, really started taking photos when I was uh, in college uh, with my wife back in 2006 uh, at Corbin University. My wife was the uh, newspaper editor at the time. And so I needed something else to do because I was taking classes, but that was it. And so she said, hey, come in and do newspaper with me. So we, it was the only class we took together. And we got in there. Uh, there was only, I think it was maybe 10 people in the class, not a lot of people. And two of the individuals who were in the class who knew sports actually were on sports teams. So they couldn't do a lot of the coverage at the time. So me being a sports guy and having taken photos, I'd taken photo classes in, in high school and college, and so they said, hey, why don't you start doing this? And I was like, okay, fun. So I went out, took photos, did some articles. And it was, it was kind of funny. I actually won an award uh, for top actions, sports shot, black and white uh, of the year for uh, the Baptist Press, which is the uh, kind of the governing press body over college, um, college newspapers for the uh, Baptist denomination. So... I won that, it was pretty excited. I was like, oh, cool, I, I won this. And then I actually, we went out and bought a, a camera, same camera we used at the college since I was already familiar with it. And I started using it to photograph, you know, Corbin baseball games and other things like that. And really it was just, just because I was just taking shots for the fun of it, for the heck of it. But in 2012, 12? Yeah, I think 2012, I was covering a Salem-Kaiser Volcanoes game and ended up taking some photos of both teams just playing and threw some up on the website. I couldn't throw up a whole lot of the time because uh, I was only allowed 50 gigabytes of total space on 9 and know-it-all. And so when you start throwing photos up there, it adds up pretty quickly, uh, especially when you're going to 40, 50 games in the summer. So I had someone email me and ask me if I had any photos of a certain player. And I was like, yeah, I've got a couple. And they're like, because that's my son. We live on the East Coast and we've never seen him play minor league baseball. And these photos are all that we have. And I thought, whoa, that's that's pretty cool. So it got me thinking about athletes having photos of themselves playing the sports they love. And I started thinking about to what I had growing up. Now I have a few different cards like this. This is me from when I was a kid. Oh, I get focused. Trying to, there we go, a little bit better. But that is me when I was a kid, I think I was 10. 10, 10, 8. I was 8. Um, so I've got a few cards like that. I have my 8, 9, 10-year-old, 11, 12-year-old ones. But I don't have anything action shot of me playing any sports. And that's really kind of a partially due to the era that I grew up in. I grew up in the 80s, early 90s, uh, graduated high school in 99. That was really before digital cameras were a thing, were, were out there going. So taking photos of someone doing sports, you actually had to have a decent camera to get action shots. So I didn't have any, still don't, I mean, obviously I'm never going back and get any more, 
I don't have any photos of me actually playing the game. And the more I've thought about it over the years, and the more people have contacted me about photos, I've realized that this is something that I feel I need to do. That's one of the reasons why I have Patreon is because I give away a ton of photos. I mean, just this last week, I've probably given away 40, 50 photos to different players and athletes who didn't have anything. And that, that doesn't, that's not the ones I sold, not the ones that I had for Patreon supporters. Those are just ones I gave away because an athlete contacted me and said, hey, please, can I have one? Um, or an athlete who I know it was their final game, so I sent them some just as a gift to say, uh, you know, thank you for what they've done. So I've gone through all this and I take photos because I want to create memories. And I give away, like I said, give away a lot of them because I have Patreon supporters. It means a big deal for me. So I've been doing this to create memories. And over the years, I've realized that I need to take more and more photos so I make sure I get every player from both teams. Uh, so I actually take about a thousand photos a game now, uh, which it's quite a bit. It takes a long time to process that many. Um, thanks to upgrades and internet, that's become a lot easier to load and, and move things around. But yeah, I, I take photos because I want players to have the memories that I don't have. I want to be able to share that. Um, and there's some photographers on YouTube that I watch, uh, Peter McKinnon, um, who, who is one, and he talks about the gift of photography and how important that is to people. Um, so, and also Jared Poland, who does Frono's Photo, uh, both of them talk about the gift of photography and how, yes, you can sell photos, you can have people pay you to do photo shoots, but giving the gift of photography is pretty powerful. So I've really t latched onto that and kind of taken that as a, kind of as a motto of mine to give the gift of photography and I still got to make money, still have to sell things because that is kind of how I make income um, my, from, from my part, for my family. So I do that, but I really want to give the gift of photography. That's why I take so many photos. That's why I keep upgrading my equipment um, as much as I possibly can. And it's why last fall when I got I had the ball hit my camera and destroy it, I was just destroyed mentally and emotionally, um, which is rare. I am not a very emotional or or that type of person, I'm pretty whatever, nonchalant. I don't really feel a lot of emotions, but that got to me, that got to me pretty big. So um, I do it to help people remember, um, so they always have it to show their kids, to just have the memories for themselves and their family. So it's important for me. Um, and I'm, I'm excited that even though we're not having baseball right now and there's nothing going on, that I'm able to talk about it uh, right now on my Smug Mug site, site my 90 Know It All uh, Smug Mug photography page, I've got photo every game photo I've taken from 2020, 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, and 12 already loaded. I think 14 might be done as well, but I've got thousands of photos that I've thrown up there uh, for people to look at and enjoy, and I plan on keeping that up there as much as possible. So um, I do photography. One, because it does help pay bills, help bring in some extra income, but mainly because I want to be someone who is a driver of the, of the game of baseball and softball to make them grow stronger, to create better memories, happier memories, memories lifelong memories, that type of stuff. So that's why I take photos at games. That's why I keep doing that. Um, and that's why this right now is really a hard time because one, I can't go out to games and photograph things, but I also can't go out and sell photographs. Um, I can't develop a bigger Patreon base through fo photos. So that's why you guys will hear me a lot, talk about Patreon. So that way when things do get going, I can keep going, I can keep doing it. Um, Cause that's what I wanna do. I wanna keep giving back the gift of photography. So um, you know what, you know, this hard time, I mean, this, this time stinks right now with no games, but I'm hoping that Sometimes with my photos that I send to people, that it helps them bring a smile to their face and helps them get through this. Because, you know what? It's a gift, and uh, hopefully it's a positive one. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All, and that is why I take so many photos at the games that I go to. Talk to you later.